Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I had a video from a couple years ago called how to make impulse responses from guitar cabinet plugins for free. And uh, it was done with Ableton and enough people use Reaper that uh, I'm going to make a Reaper video because there was some issues that people were running into. And I honestly, I figured this out today. Uh, I'm not a Reaper user by trade. So yeah, so this is a full factory reset brand new installs. So like if you're not, I know this, they, you could do tons of shit with the settings with this and I'm doing this from default. So you can follow the steps if you're new to Reaper or whatever. Um, first step, go to options, go to preferences, and then find this one here under uh, project. It's called media item defaults. You want to uncheck this checkbox here that's create automatic fade in fade out for new items when, uh, and when splitting. Uncheck that, hit apply. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to get rid of some people were complaining about the IR sounding wrong. Uh, mostly it's due to fades, uh, those automatic fades, which I would delete that anyway. Uh, you don't need it. Do your fades when you're editing. Um, okay, so next we're going to create a two audio tracks. So just right click here, audio track, audio track. I expanded these. You can, you know, I just made them a little bigger just for, you know, it's a video. You got to, things got to look big on video so you can see it. All right. Uh, next I'm going to add a DI track. So just imagine you recorded some DIs. Here's, here's you, uh, playing Evanescence. You, you, you like Evanescence, LOL. All right. Uh, next you hit this button here on this effects this is going to be your plugins. We're going to add, uh, I'll do pro key three in a second. Let's add Gojira. Let's say you've got the archetype Gojira plugin and it has its, uh, you know, cabinets that are part of the plugin, but they don't give you the IRs, uh, right? So let's say you make a really cool sounding, you know, cabinet in here and you wanted to export that to use that in some other way, whatever, you know, you got a floor modeler or you just want to have the IR because you want to have the IR, right? Uh, so let's, I'm just going to play music and mess around with this a little bit. Uh, I'm going to mess with the EQ and I'm going to mess with the uh, cabinet because you can actually capture both of these into one IR. It's pretty cool. So I'll just play the music. <laughs> good enough. Uh, I'm not trying to make a good tone here. I'm just trying to, uh, demonstrate, you know, you're sitting there playing guitar, you make a good tone and you're like, Ooh, I really want that IR for myself now. All right. Uh, so let's say, uh, let's actually, instead of making this, uh, the end of the video, I'll just add another plugin. So let's say you've got an EQ plugin where you want to pull down some of your resonances or whatever. So pro Q three. Here we go. All right. So now we got our, our plugin after Gojira. We've got this, uh, fab filter EQ. All right. So let's play the music again. And I'm just going to find and dip some frequencies here, kind of mess around. There we go. All right. So I'm happy with this guitar sound and I want to make an IR out of it. So this is what you do. Go back into your, uh, your amp sim plugin. You want to disable all of the effects, like the distortions and stuff. So like I'm double clicking on the head here that disables the head. So now you just got the cabinet like, and the EQ and I don't think this is turned on, but I'll just turn this off anyway. All right. So now we got the cabinet. It's turned off. That's what that stuff enabled. So you only want the EQ enabled if you're if you're using an EQ. 
uh, the cabinet. And if you have an EQ in post, like after the after the uh, guitar sim plugin, you can capture this in the IR as well. So that's all I've got turned on in the chain right now is the EQ stuff, right? All right, so we got that step done. Now we're gonna use this empty track to record the output of this track. So the way to do that, the easy way, I think, I think this is the easiest way. Reaper is so, it's awesome, but it's also super fucking complicated. Uh, the easy way is to go to track one, which is the one with all your plugins, and grab onto this thing that says route, drag it, and drop it onto your empty track. So that's track two here. You'll see that little icon underneath my mouse kind of looks like a TRS, like a quarter inch TRS cable that lets you know that you're doing it right. So I let go of that and I get this little pop-up. You could ignore what's on here. Just, uh, you know, close it. It's fine. I want to remove as many steps as possible here to make it easy. Uh, so next you hit record arm right here on track two. Go into your, uh, here, let me spread this out. There we go. Go here and input equals none. So there you go. So now this isn't listening to anything, but next you go into here where it says in, which is going to go to record output. And we're just going to go to record output mono. So I'm recording a mono file, but let's say that you set up a stereo set of IRs and you can actually export a stereo file if you want. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, we're just doing record output mono. Don't choose latency compensated. Choose just regular mono. All right. And uh, we're ready. So we've got our guitar track there. That's fine. Um, we're going to drop in another file here. This is something I'll have this on the uh, in the description of the video. These are some files that I'm going to give you. This is an impulse response. Uh, it's basically here. Let me get the playhead thingy to go here. We're going to zoom in. I'm using my scroll wheel to zoom in, by the way. Uh, if you're new to Reaper, this is, you know, that's how you do it. That's how I'm doing what I'm doing on screen here. So this is the file that uh, you'll find in the description. What this is, is basically it's, it's total silence, but the very beginning of it has one sample that goes all the way up to, I think it's like right below zero DB. And this is what you're going to play through the effects chain that you have here, this EQ and, you know, your cabinet sound, you're going to play this through that you're going to play that little click sound through these plugins and we're going to record it on the second track. So we've got this all set up, basically just going to put the playhead here just to kind of illustrate it a little easier, I think. And then you just hit record and there it is. So now let's go back a little bit. All right. So here's our file. We can zoom in and you can see it's a wave. It's an IR basically. Uh, but that's what happens when you play a click through, uh, something else like that, where it's, you know, the guitar cabinet, this is basically an impulse response of the guitar cabinet. So now, uh, we're going to do a couple things. Uh, first thing, right click on this file, go to edit process or item processing and select normalize items. So we hit that and then you can just hit you know, zero DB is fine. Uh, you know, if you're scared, you can make it less, <laughs> but just hit okay. Uh, the defaults here, you don't have to change anything. Just hit okay. And so that normalizes the file. All right. So there it is. There's your IR. Uh, but we're going to export this now. So next, uh, you want to shorten down this. See, like you got all this extra silence. You don't need this. You could uh, honestly bring this down to like a super short, you know, just that click and you're going to be fine. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to edit this. There's by default Reaper has these, like it kind of does it in quantized chunks of, you know, like a, what, whatever this is like a quarter second or whatever. Uh, you can hold down the shift key and you can get back, like being able to adjust this however you want. But for the beginning of this thing, since we didn't do the latency compensation, you could just drag it to here. And then this one, we'll just drag it to like here. It's totally fine. Don't worry about cutting off all that extra 
you're not missing anything. So I'm zooming all the way in here and you can see my IR starts right where the file starts to go up or did I say that right? My file starts right as the, uh, the new impulse response starts to like go upwards. So this is what every other IR that's called minimum phase transform. If you've ever seen that in like own hammer IRs where it's MPT, that's minimum phase transform. What that means is it starts, that's how the IR is shaped essentially. Um, most IRs start right at the beginning of the file. Some of them have some extra silence at the front of them, and it makes them a pain in the ass to use with like NAT IR or whoever. <laughs> but uh, we're doing it this way because this is the best way. All right. So uh, the end of the file, if you want, you can hold down shift. See, like I put my mouse over the middle of the file, uh, the audio file here. You get this little shaped, uh, you know, mouse cursor. You can hold down shift and you can you can make this bigger, smaller, whatever you want. You honestly don't need anything more than like here. Let me show you when an IR goes into silence, when it's like, you know, nothing else going on. There's literally nothing here. There is very slight information there, but like it doesn't fucking matter. Don't worry about it. But if you want to be, uh, you know, a nerd, just go ahead and just leave it with, you know, a big long ending and, uh, you know, waste your file space on your processor. Go for it. All right. So we've got this file. It's normalized. It's ready to go. This is our IR we, that we made of that cabinet. So exporting out of here is, uh, confusing. There's like 15 ways to do it. I'll show you a super easy way to export. Now that I've normalized it and I've kind of cut it down to the size I want, I'm just going to I minimize uh, Reaper a little bit, right? Here's my file. I hold down on my keyboard, I hold down Control and Alt, uh, ALT, it's next to your space bar. Hold both of those buttons down and click and drag this onto your desktop or drag it into a folder or whatever. And boom, there it is. This is your file and I'm going to open it in Audacity to show you that it is, uh, it's off screen. Here we go. Those edits that I made are in there. So like, you know, I, I chopped off the beginning of it. I chopped off the end of it. Boom. There it is. So the edits that you make when you do that control alt and then drag the file out of Reaper, they're like baked into the file that gets exported, which is really fucking smart of them. All right. So yeah, that's it. You know, rename your file, whatever, you know, and then you can drop that into a, uh, an amp sim, and this is going to sound exactly like what you did here, right? So yeah, there you go. Hope that explains everything. Um, and yeah, have a good day. See ya.